Ray Ponds did my lethal injection get stuck in your JJ wrong? Oh, what's the matter, Meth Lamore? You need another stupid. Not come on, come on. Why is Philly so crazy? Honestly, he's amazing. Billy, Billy, you so crazy. He reacts for all of you to see. Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracking? What's bracking? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back with another one. Look, man. Look, look, look. Before this video starts, because y'all know what y'all clicked on already. Y'all already know what you clicked on. We got the Mac Lethal single white female. This is the Tom McDonald diss track. All right. This is the response that we've been waiting on. Now, let me address some things first. All right. So, on my first reaction with Tom McDonald, his original diss to Mac Lethal, I said some things. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't know that, Tom, um, that Mac Lethal used to be a battle rapper. Didn't know that. I only knew of him because of the videos that you guys suggested. So once you guys started spamming the comment section up with old rap battles, I did my research. I did my research and I found out that Matt Lethal, he really bought the battle rap life. So I'm like, okay, cool. Cool. Once I seen that, I was like, all right, solidified. Billy, you so crazy retracts all his statements about finding your best writers and all of that. I can tell y'all in this video, I own up to that. My bad. Some of y'all got really tight. Look, just because I didn't know, I didn't know. Y'all, I only knew him. I thought he was just a YouTube entertainer. And then I see some videos of him on Ellen and all that stuff. So I'm like, oh, maybe this is all he does. But Mac Lethal is an actual battle rapper. So I feel like this is gonna be a good, a good back and forth. That's what I feel like. Um, I don't know. Like from the, the battles that I seen, like they were entertaining. My guy, my, my guy Mac Lethal. He might actually be a little lethal, but we're going to find out on this just track right now for his response. Um, but first, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please be a part of the So Crazy family by hitting that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links are right there. Send me a message on what you want me to react to next, and I'll have it up for you at some point. Look, man, I'm excited because I don't even know. Like, like my the last video, I said that we gave him the Drake package, which meant that he had 48 hours to respond. If not, he had to be done. Now, he went way past the 48 hours. Like, let's just be clear on that. This man waited till the middle of the week. I don't know if he just wanted Tom McDonald's diss track to just get as much views or whatever, everyone to hear it as possible, and then he come back with a smash and then just completely end it or what? I don't really know what type of strategy he was running with with this one, but I'm excited. I'm excited, man. All right, man, enough talking. Let's get straight into this. I got a little story about a single white female. Her name is Tammy, but you'll need some fine details. She gets... <laughs> What? My guy, okay, this is different. This is, I, Mac Lethal put some time into this one, okay. Up on the internet and argues with strangers cause inside she's full of insecurity and anger. She tries to be edgy, that's her rap ploy. But back in the day she was a frat boy. She Ooh. says everybody hates her but no one even cares. So now I'm gonna grab the bitch and throw her by the hair. Hey yo, single white female, it's time to make the J burn. Where's your fucking balls, bitch? You acting like you gray worm. How you gonna let a little tweet hurt your feelings? Did I bruise your ego, little girl? What are you revealing? Your whole fucking gimmick is claiming everybody's too pee. PC and sensitive, so why you want some victim shit? If somebody oh. don't like you, that shit straight troubles you. Why the fuck you acting like an SJW? You rapping like... Okay, alright. So, so right off the rip, you know what I'm saying? The beginning, I found that part funny, but I could tell Mac Lethal was low-key frustrated. I could tell. He, he a little frustrated. His bars is coming out a little frustrated. Look, all I'm saying is, you took long enough, bro. So the rest of this diss track, you better have done some more research on my man Tom McDonald. You have to. Uh, and let me not say my man's Tom, because I don't know Tom. Let me stop fronting like we talk. We don't talk. He might comment on a couple videos, but that's it. I don't even know him. I don't even know Mac Lethal like that. But I'm hoping with all the time that he took to make this track that he, I don't know, that he goes further. Like, I don't want to hear some made-up story about Tammy like I get that that's what he's trying to call Tom but yo like I need some direct punches you know what I'm saying like ain't nothing really ain't nothing sticking right at this moment but it's only 44 seconds in so we're gonna give it a you know what I'm saying we're gonna keep listening 
Like you wanna make America great again, but you're not even American, Tammy. You're Canadian. You live in the Wait. safest fucking country in the world, and you act like you're oppressed, man. You're such a little girl. Wait, Speak. oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mac Lethal's expo Wait, Tom, my guy, are you from Canada? Okay, uh, obviously some things I don't even know. All right, all right. My guy Mac Lethal starting to expose some things. Maybe I don't even know. That might not even be an expose. That might be public knowledge. I just don't know. <laughs> Speaking of little girls, you want to diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot. That's so damn disgusting, man. Nah, it well, is. I can throw cheap shots, too. Let's talk about the fact your girlfriend used to suck off R. Ray the Rugged Man. You want to... Okay, okay. He did his research. He did his research. Okay. I, I don't know who Tom McDonald's girlfriend is. But I'm not going to say it's facts or it's not because I don't know who she is. But it, it, it seemed like he got some inside intel. Friend used to suck off R. Ray the Rugged Man. You I don't even know who that is. Filter. Your girl is a king of the dot groupie that be letting rappers fill her. We got mutual friends. They gave me dirt. These are facts. I knew it. Your girlfriend ghost writes half your raps. On YouTube, the biggest video of mine has more views than all your fucking videos combined. I know it. Speaking of YouTube, you claim that I'm irrelevant. I got two million more fucking subscribers than you do. You wear women's clothes and Nicki Minaj braids because you got a hype. That dude put the Nicki Minaj picture next to his. Drivers than you do. You wear women's clothes and Nicki Minaj braids. Yeah. You gotta hide the fact that you secretly got AIDS. You Ooh. think that I'm not paid, silly bitch. I'm a millionaire. You want proof? Meet me at the bank and I'ma kill you there. White on white violence. Damn it, snowing. You're the fucking rap equivalent of Candace Owens. Oh. I heard you block people on Twitter because they told you Mac Lethal is bigger. Sweet Jesus, you're bitter. What's the matter, Lele Pons? Did my lethal injection get stuck? And your JJ wrong. Oh, what's the matter, Meth Lamore? You need another stupid. Not come on, come on. That's a, okay. You know what? He's I ain't gonna hold you. He started off this diss a little bit slow, but you gotta have a build up to the diss track. You gotta have the build up to the diss track, so I feel it. I feel it. Injection gets stuck in your JJ wrong. Come on. Oh, what's the matter, Meth Lamore? You need another stupid white boy gimmick to move some units out the record store. Yeah. You're not a lyricist. You're not controversial. No one is offended by you, and that really hurts you, bro. You lie about <laughs> your height. You're not six five, you little man. You look like Kid Rock had a meth baby with Lil Xan. You Ooh. Like Lil Pump had a crack baby with Bad Baby. What's the matter, Elsa? Why you acting sad lately? I'm a martial artist. You fake wrestle, bitch. You aren't the man, but you do look like Becky Lynch. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the ring right now, no, this, this man is a Canadian here. who would give anything to be American. Standing five foot eight, I mean, uh, six foot five, weighing 72 pounds, Tammy McDogford. Oh. oh shit, let's watch this wrestling video. Oh my God, what kind, what kind of fucking move is that? What is that? This guy really. <laughs> In your diss song, you tried. To I ain't gonna hold you. He could have. He could have went without that whole, that whole little skit. Uh, I wasn't feeling that one. I ain't even gonna hold you. I wasn't feeling that one. Hmm say that I was gay right you're the motherfucker that be dressing up in gray tights see you and other half naked men can fucking play fight you just need an excuse to lay there and take pipe in America <laughs> hog is another word for dick which is the reason that you have it tatted underneath your lip oh. cause you love dick bro you give enough head you wear nail polish motherfucker nuff said you ain't skilled okay alright and that's because Tom McDonald told him you know what I'm saying just admit that you gay and Mac Lethal like bro you you seriously trying to <laughs> that's what you saying you got black nail polish on your hands bro okay yo this is the for entertainment purposes i'm loving this for entertainment pur purposes I'm, as like i said as long as this only stays like on the internet no one gets hurt i'm all for it i'm all for it be quiet you look like billy eilish did too many pills and got filled with violence and killed her stylist yikes Billy, yo, first of all, let me just say, I just found out who Billie Eilish is because you guys re wanted me to react to one of her songs. I think it was called Bad Guy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, shoot. 
I can see it. Okay. And got filled with violence and killed her stylist. I heard your diss, bitch. I ain't bust a sweat. You diss ICP, homie. Your girl's a juggalette. You say I'm in my 30s like the shit is oh. a bad thing. I'm healthy and I'm rich and I'm living my rap dreams. Let them know. My kids go to a nice private school. I got a sick fucking house. I own my own pool. Let them know. How the fuck you gonna try to say I'm having an identity crisis? You're a 30 year old man dressing like this. I wear normal clothes. I don't need controversy and shock value. I grab the mic. And pour my soul. Let this shit be a lesson in how you thirst fame. From here on out, your name is infinitely curse main. Cause if you say your last name, you have to say my first name. Bitch, my fucking rap name is in your fucking birth name, Mac. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's how you end a song. Yo. Yo, you know what? I ain't even upset at the fact that my man took two weeks to reply. You know what? Like I said, it started off real slow, so I didn't know where M Mac was going to really go with this. I didn't really know. I was like, uh, uh, he, he, starting off a little, it started off a little slow. I ain't even going to hold you. But you know what? The build up, because even Tom McDonald's diss, it started off, you know what I'm saying? He has some, he just kind of led you up and then he just kept, ah, ah, hitting you in the gut. And that's pretty much what my man Mac Lethal did. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready to hear what my man Tom McDonald got to say. All right. Oh man, we got a good one here, folks. We got a good one here. Like, like I said, it may have took him two weeks to respond. Now I'm sure when Tom does respond, he's probably gonna let that be known. Like, bro, you had to take 18 days just to get all as much information as you can. So even if Tom McDonald responds by tonight. We probably won't hear another response from Mac Lethal until July 3rd. The way that his diss track timing is set up, like, <laughs> it may take us a long time before we hear another Mac Lethal diss part two, because my man gonna have to dig up even more, even more. But I will say, um, in, this next, in this next diss track, like Tom, I don't think you should bring up his age. Probably should leave that, you know what I'm saying? You talked about it in the first one. Now you gonna have to, you gonna have to dig a little deep, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to co-sign talking about kids and girlfriends and stuff like that. But, you know, when it comes to diss tracks, ain't nothing off limits, I guess. Apparently, ain't nothing off limits. Ain't, I don't know. Ain't nothing off limits. So, we just going to, yo, I'm excited for this. Like, y'all see this smile on my, like, yo, come on, man. Like I said, I had to do research on my man Mac to find out that he really does this, this battle rapping thing. So, um, yeah, man, this is dope. This is dope. Oh, man. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Who took round one? Who do y'all feel took round one? Ugh, man, who do I feel took round one? It's a... I don't know. I, I have to take some points off of Mac Lethal's disc because of that pointless skit that he had in there. I didn't like that at all. Like, I did not... I just... I ain't find it funny. I, I was just like that. You could have definitely went without that. Um, both of their beat choices, I'm not the biggest fan of, but... Like, I get why Tom went the route that he went. And, you know, Matt, he's just doing what he normally does. Like, whoever his producer is, like, he rocks with that dude tough. So, um, but, again, I definitely like a more grittier beat. But, dang, to be honest, I don't know who. I don't I don't know. This It's a toss-up for me right now. I don't know who took round one. I just, like, like, Tom's was, Tom's was good. Tom was good. But um, Matt's response, like, he has some... He has some dirt. He has some dirt. So uh I don't know. I don't know. I might have to give I might have to give Mac this one. I might have to give Mac this one. I don't but then again, like I said, I gotta take points away before that that pointless little skid in there. And then the slow, like the Tammy story. I wasn't I didn't really feel the Tammy story too much, but you know, I get for shock value and I don't I think I think the only reason why I'm gonna give Mac this one is just because his was more creative. And I get that Tom was just baiting him, like, on the first diss track. So that's the reason why Tom didn't go all out. He had the bulletproof vest on. You know, it, it was just, like, a couple shots in his music video. But Tom, I mean, but Mac really put, like I said, he had 12 days to get this together. So, you know, um, for that alone, he should definitely get some points taken off. Because he should if he's a battle rapper, he should have came like this. Like, he should have came that fast. Like, but my guy really had to, like, just dig, 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 dig. Um, but I can tell you, I, yeah, I'm going to just have to give it to, to uh, Mac and just leave it at that one. We're going to find out if Tom wants to respond, give him a part two. Hopefully it is a part two. Um, and if it is, once again, we're going to have to wait till July 2nd until <laughs> Mac Lethal <laughs> feels like responding. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, the the like ratio on this video, I already know is gonna go like down. I already know because some of you guys probably aren't gonna agree that you know, like I said, but you just gotta know Mac had a lot more time than Tom, and I know Tom was just baiting him. So without a doubt, I feel like since Mac got all this information that he probably put into this one song, round two. He might get washed. Like, I don't, because I don't see him having anything else. He already done talked about his girlfriend um, blocking people on Twitter and comments. And he already talked about how much money he makes. Like, Matt pretty much poured everything into this diss track already. I'm sure there's other things that he could talk about. But I feel like most of the intel that he got, he put on this song already. So that's, that's, all, he, that's all he really has left. Tom, on the other hand... He, you know, he baited him. So there's there's a plethora of other things that he can talk about, especially with this video alone. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. You guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section. Who you think took round one? Um, who are you giving round one to? Uh, if there is going to be a round two, I don't even know. I'm just, you know, saying it, you know. But ever since this video dropped, you guys have been spamming me. Like, Billy, you got to do it. So here it is, man. But if you did enjoy this reaction, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on all my social media links are right there. Send me a message. Y'all you know, know how that go. Got a Patreon in the description. Feel free to donate if you want to help the channel out. No pressure, no worries. Um, if there's a request that you want done a whole lot faster, that's the quickest way to do it. But shout out to everyone that's in the So Crazy family. I really appreciate your guys' love and support. That's all I got for you. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out this thing.